Hey everybody, what's going on? So I unloaded everything. I have guns in one side here. These hold 50 on each each side, so that's pretty good. But I have all my uh, weapons over here. And then I have all the ammunition and accessories, ammo straps, magazines, etc. over here. I moved a couple rain barrels down. I woke up like really early. I went to sleep and I woke up at like 4 a.m. So I decided I'd start sowing some... Uh, some furrows here, or sowing seeds and, and making furrows. And I took one of the uh, rain barrels, emptied it out, put it down here, put the two watering cans down here, and uh, starting some tomato plants over here. So I figured I'd bring you along for this. All I did was I opened up the uh, seed packet, so you have the seeds loose in your inventory, and then you can just uh, do this here. Now I put two spaces between each row because I think if one gets... Um, diseased as long as you're two rows away from the next one it won't spread to the next one so that's just a way to prevent everything from going bad if we do get a, a bad crop or get a bad disease so anyway i'm gonna do uh tomatoes here and then i'll probably do potatoes here and then maybe cabbages down here we'll see how it goes but with the amount of rain we've had Imagine uh, this should not be too hard to uh, keep keep well watered. So somebody's already banging at the door. All right, let's go deal with them. Here, bring up my trusty uh, rancher machete here. Yeah, there was a flyover by a uh, by a helicopter. And it had like a British ambulance siren going off. So I think it might have been like a rescue helicopter. So anyway, let's check the area here. That's probably caused a couple zombies to kind of come this way. But I think we pretty much cleared them out. There's one sort of wandering up there. I'm not going to chase him down right now, though. So anyway, the next mission is... Let me finish doing this row here, but we need to go get ourselves some freezers because I discovered uh, rotten cabbage in the uh, refrigerator, and our little mini refrigerator slash freezer it has a very low capacity. So we need to go get some ice chests, some of those big, huge deep freezers, and I got an idea of where we can at least get one. So we're gonna go for it. I think maybe it's two, one or two, but uh, it's kind of close to where we did the pharmacy raid. It's a little bit before that, but the same sort of shopping area. All right, so where were we? Let's, uh, I did uh, tomatoes here, potatoes here, and there goes another flyover. And let's do uh, cabbages here. I figure we can combine this with some meat that we keep frozen and maybe trap, hunt, fish, that sort of thing, we can have some good stir fries throughout winter when that time comes. It's a ways off, but might as well start harvesting and freezing things now. They'll keep for, I just want to get in a good, you know, sort of a good practice of doing at least, tr go through at least once or twice before the season and then make sure we have a full uh, freezer before uh, the weather turns too cold to, to grow anything. So I have hooked up the, uh, the trailer here. 138 capacity. I think these freezers are about 40 each. The, the car uh, trunk is empty also. And I'll show you. I was debating whether or not I needed to replace the battery. Great gunshots. But no, everything's going good with this car. It's, it's looking really good. Except for the hood and windshield. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the battery, 90.59 90, 90 remaining. Uh, everything looks real good. So yeah. 84% on the engine. So that one time it just didn't start quite properly was uh, just uh, sort of dumb luck, I think. So let's see if we got any zombies drifting this way after that gunshot. I don't know if that was thunder or gunshot. Could have been either, I guess, but uh, I don't remember hearing thunder. So, let me go ahead and disassemble this watch while I'm sitting here. It didn't take too long. Throw the uh, scraps over here, and we will get going. So let me uh, bring up on the map where our target's going to be. For this little mission here. It's really not far. We're going to go... Let me show you. 
Get this little target symbol here. It's going, it's right about here. It's an ice cream store inside of this little shopping plaza. It's basically like one hallway and a entrance and exit, it looks like. And then there's like a sh um, ice cream parlor. So we're going to go for that. And I believe there might be two deep freezers. And my plan is just to put them on the roof um, on the outside. Just leave them there. So let's see if we can go do this without getting too munched on. And uh, let me make sure I do have my splitting axe. I do. I am going to be carrying the splitting axe. It only I, I, for some reason, I was thinking it was a two-handed axe, but I think that's like a wood axe or something like that. But uh, this has pretty high damage output, so go for it here. All right, let's get going here. I think we just kind of cut through here and just kind of keep cutting through the uh, parking lots here. Now I feel a lot better doing food raids. Because right now, and I also need to get myself a, shockingly, I need myself a skillet or a frying pan. I can't believe I haven't actually grabbed one yet, but I haven't. So I feel a lot better doing food raids knowing that I have somewhere that I can keep it for a significant amount of time. Let's see where we're at here. Oh yeah, we're real close. We're basically next door to it. So. Yeah, we'll have to do a little bit of zombie clearing, but nothing we're not already very use, used to. Okay, so this should be our entrance into it. Not sure how close I can get. Okay. And I'll just park here. It looks like those zombies kind of lost interest, honestly. So, well... I won't mess with them if they don't mess with me. That's fine. Let's make sure we're not getting trapped in here. Yeah, they pretty much lost interest. I have to go through a window. Oops. Might have screwed myself by running. Yeah, we got some that were coming due to the car, so I might as well clear them out. That's not too bad. I'm not going to be too worried about searching every last zombie. Just kind of want to get in and out of here and get back and get the mission done. Maybe grab some food on the way back if an opportunity presents itself. I know that there was a chicken place and a food place there too, so... We're just going to have to go through a window, I think. Pick out the glass. There we go. Should be able to just... All right, I can't walk through. Climb through the invisible wall. Should be able to open this one up. All right, now let's go ahead and jump out and have them come out to me. I'd rather fight them out here than in that tiny little vestibule. And make sure nobody else is sneaking up on us. Nope, we're still good. That one uh, snuck through. I was angled just a little bit off. And uh, our armor stopped it from getting to our skin. So that was good. No injury. Yep. We're good. But uh, yeah, it was dangerous. I need to zoom in probably a little bit more. Make sure I get the angle right. I need to use the... I need to use the feature where it highlights the zombies that you're going to be hitting. Everybody seems to use that. But uh, I'm just used to doing it this way. Can I hit you from here? Yeah, kind of. There we go. You finally got out. You know what? I just need to open these doors. I need to do. Have these doors ready to go. There we go. I tried to slip him. Sometimes you can duck and dodge the bite. Oh, splitting actually feels different. That was pretty quick. I think I just killed PewDiePie again. Killed him several times. There we go. Well, we get into trouble, we can always 
run out, but... Okay. That was unexpected. I didn't know how many were going to be connected with that group, so... Might as well back out and... Uh, if you have a vest, I would like that. If you have a vest, I would like that, sir. As long as I didn't already damage it, which I might have. Nope, nope, none of these cops are wearing vests. Shocking. Like, spawned into the only major city where none of the cops were resistant vests. Okay. Well, we had to fight our way in a little bit. I think this is the ice cream place right here, actually. Right here on the corner. Hello. You, you might have actually had a vest. Nope, park ranger. Okay. Alright, I'll let you keep beating on that. You guys spawn keys. Oh, there it is. That's what I was wondering. Now we can get, get into locked doors in, in here, so... Should be good. Right now. We kind of get to the back here. There's going to be a back way in. Ah, back door. There's my there's my two ICs. That's what I was looking for. I get the feeling there might be one right here or a couple, so be ready. At least one. Okay, what do we got here? Is this a refrigerator or a freezer? Yeah. A little bit of both. We'll come back and grab the ice cream here in a minute. First things first. Just want to make sure there's not a better freezer than what we have. But we're going to grab all this ice cream. A lot of calories. And it keeps forever. Doesn't go bad. So definitely keep that. Alright, so I should have probably taken some beta blockers. It's a little late now, but we'll go ahead and take them. And then we'll have a nice little smoke. And we'll get a drink and fill up our canteen as well. And might as well eat a little bit of ice cream. It's in here. Uh, you know what? Let's have a grapefruit. See how my weight's doing. It's dropping a little bit. Let's go ahead and eat the grapefruit. Try to eat stuff with low calories so I can drop maybe two kilos. I feel like I'm running a little, a little heavy. And let's have pineapple. Let's eat half that pineapple. All right, so we got that done. Let's go grab one of these ice chests. I think I have to take everything out of it first before I pick it up, which kind of makes sense. Take those out. Okay, let's go ahead and grab it. it has items in it, does? Oh, it still does. Okay, I think we're good now. Go grab some more ice cream. And I'm gonna get a drink. Fill my canteen. While we're here, not that that really matters anymore. Empty bucket, we can always take that and gather water for it. For the garden. Empty buckets are always handy anyway. So since we have the space, might as well grab it. Take some more ice cream. Some more ice cream. Some more ice cream. I think we hit all of these. Oh, nope. Missed that one. That's right. That one did have the grapefruit and the watermelon. Watermelon's a good one. Okay, let me double check in here. And we'll take all that. More ice cream. Okay. I think we're... Pretty good with the ice cream here. You think in the trash can worthwhile? Probably not. Just a garbage bag. All right, I think we're ready to get out of here, folks. So let's dump all this in the back of the car. Yeah, let's see here, all these food items.
Whoa. She scared the crap out of me. As you can tell. At least she did a battle cry. She must have finally busted through. Oh, crap. I called a few over. That Honestly, that was my fault. <laughs> Jump scare got me. I hit the Q key instead. Let's try to hit the W. Accidentally rolled a finger onto the Q. This has a nice uh, arc. Like a swing arc. You can get multiples pretty easy with this one. Alright, we, we call any more? Probably. I think we're just about done. Right, let's, let's get in the car and get it started. There we go. Okay, now that we're ready to roll. Um, so I'm going to go down here. This road. Basically cut through here. And go down this road. Alright, I think I got it. Alright, let's see if we can make it home. Without losing everything. Oh, that was my turn. I'm, I'm already getting lost. Look at me. I think that was my turn. Was it? Let me double check. I think I turned too early. Yeah, I turned way too early. Alright, this is starting to look like familiar grounds here. Yep. <laughs> home sweet home. Bodies everywhere. <laughs> Bodies and flies everywhere. Luckily, I don't sleep around all the flies. I can back this in a little bit here. You see, opposite, opposite to get it to turn the way you want it. And then once you get it angled, you go that way. I think I'm running over zombies. I'm just trying to block these doors a little bit, best I can. I think I'll go in and out of this one for now. Till the next run. Alright, let's see if we drew any... Pulled any zombies back into the neighborhood. I don't think so. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and unload here. Take one of those. Probably not both of them at the same time, right? we go. Little heavy. Little heavy. By little, I mean a lot. Alright, we made it home. So, question is, where do I put these? Um, you know what? I could, could put them down here. Might be a little inconvenient to go grab food every day. Let's see if we have anywhere up here that looks decent. Uh, outside's not too bad of a choice. I could probably get rid of the pool table and Put some stuff over here. Put the pool table downstairs. Um, I might do that. Probably break the pool table in the process, but I don't think that would be the worst thing. Could probably disassemble one of these. Just put two of them here since the sink isn't working anymore. And if I decide to put a barrel on the roof after I build some stairs up there, I could always replumb a sink down here if I needed to. But put two freezers here put some cooking stuff here and I would be able to pretty much get all my ingredients from there without having to reach into them. I might do that. Um, I don't know. But for now, for now, let's just go ahead and place them downstairs. I kind of want to... That's where I want it. No, no, no. That's it. Ah! We got a working fridge, huh? I want to see this get blue. So let's put our uh, let's put our ice creams in there. Don't we have a bunch of them? I thought we had a bunch of ice creams in our hand. Maybe not. Let's throw the watermelon in there. Watch it get blue. But you can hear it. It sounds exactly like a deep freezer. I mean, they literally went out to their garage and just recorded a deep freezer. 
Gotta love that. All right, here's Popsicle Fridge Part 1. And the uh, second part is in the trunk of the car. Along with all the ice cream. That's the ice cream I was thinking of. Let's go ahead and grab, grab all that while we're at it. Do I hear a zombie? It's hard to hear over all the flies. I was kind of waiting for the zombies just to, you know, decompose and disappear on their own. But uh, uh, they keep respawning and they keep coming back and the helicopters keep bringing them back. So I don't think that's going to happen. I might have to, I have to tidy them up a little bit, unfortunately. No, I don't like it there. I want it, I want it over one. Oh, I can't do it that close. There's, there has to be a gap. That doesn't seem right. All right. Well, if there has to be a gap, there has to be a gap. There we go. Got that one going, and that one going. Yep, we're getting nice icy cold air inside of there, so it's working. All right, let's put all this fresh stuff in there. All right, I'll I'll do this off camera. And uh, see you guys in the next episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I greatly appreciate it. Y'all take care.